Good hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can chase soup and web scrape Amazon. So um, I'll show you guys how you can get the title and the price and the description. Usually there is this product description for every product. So I'll show you how you can get all this information from just the link uh, of the product. So yeah, let's go over to Android Studio. Now, uh, this is uh, something that I've done for an app that I'm working on. So, a few things might be out of context, but the basic things are there. So, we have uh, Amazon JSUB apply extends to uh, async docs. Now, you gotta use async docs, or else it's not gonna work for JSUB. And then we have created a few variables to store all the uh, information that will be taken. And on pre-execute we have nothing. We are only gonna use do in background. So the document file is created and then it's uh, set to connect at the link that we give. So this is this is probably not necessary. I, I don't remember why I have this. Once you have the web page loaded onto the document, we can start uh, being like specifically extracting the information that we want so we try to take the name with this and store it on to element here yeah so uh what we do is document dot get element by class now if you were to go to inspect here which is what you have to do when you like try to web scrape you need to look at the uh, code here uh, we can see that uh, this is under the class all size large product title word break uh, pretty straightforward for this there is only one class that has all this so we can we can just say uh, jsup to find this class and get all the doc all the elements on that it has and then we use dot text which removes all the uh, a span ID and all the other stuff because if you were to use a uh, two string then we'd get the whole thing we'd get the whole code block along with the stuff that we don't want so when you add dot text if we only get the specific information uh, like the one that is displayed here so yeah, that, that works for the title now the price uh, there's a few places where we have the price and I think we have it down here as well somewhere I think this is something that is a bit tricky because sometimes uh, you don't have the price and uh, it's listed as currently unavailable or the price appears when you select a specific size or color so uh, it might not always be on display like this but if it is, then we can go to inspect and we can find the uh, specific class. And I did the same thing with the name here. Just get element by class and then the class name and store it as product price. Now let's uh, take a look at some other products. The ones that doesn't have a clear uh, price tag. So these will probably require uh, a size so let's go with the first one here and yeah so when the price is like this then you have to select a specific size and get the price now let's just see if this is stored under the same class as that or so it is under the same class and yeah so if you were to not select a specific size and then start web scraping you'd get the whole thing yeah all right and yeah let's not talk about how you can get the product description this should be also under a specific class that we can extract now because you can see that it's a bit more complicated where there is a specific class that uh, 
we can get so uh, like there is a class here but that includes all of this as well and um, it's a bit tricky and you have all this as well now you can try getting this class here but that will also include other stuff here now it's not the same as the previous uh, elements that we have so this is how I selected specific element so I use document.select now this is very powerful in JSU we can like do a, a lot of flexible things and I used uh, div now div is if, if this was spam I would, I would use spam if this was like EMG or something I would uh, name that so whatever the name you see here which contains your uh, information you need to use that and then uh, you can you need to use this bracket here and then class equals to this class so I've included the main class name here so uh, it JSU will look at this and then look at the class that it's under and now since there are a lot of elements inside this code block I need to specify the one that I want so the one that I want is the paragraph B so uh, I've the next thing that you need to look at is the paragraph B and this is what JSOOP does and it will get you the specific information that it if there now if there was another uh, element inside the paragraph that you wanted and you do the same thing here and then name that here so this is just uh, to go this is just saying jsoup to uh, go deeper into the class that we are talking about so yeah that is how you can get the paragraph description uh, let's uh, look at how you can get the image here now this one was a little hard to find because it was really deep inside the inspection uh, this was really deep inside the uh, code now, what I want to do is get the link of the picture now every picture you see on a website has a link uh, so like a URL so let's say this is the URL that we want now you can't the reason why I'm not inspected here and trying asking JSOOP to get this image is because it's gonna get a little more complicated because it's on a uh, uh, dialogue and I have not worked with that before so not really sure if it will work so since the image is loaded here as well I'll try to get this picture and I did that by going over to inspect and I waited for now this was really hard to find because it was really uh, deep inside Just have trouble finding this Alright, so I did find the picture. Um, it's under the UI class. Now I've I've been confused in this with the other things that uh, also select the picture. So you need to go down, and there's another uh, element of uh, code that will select the picture. So that if you expand that, you'll end up with this and this has the link to the picture and also um, if you want the thumbnails it's way over here and yeah the pictures are inside all right so uh, this is the code block that you want this is under the class image tag wrapper and div so uh, the jsoup code for this would be uh, div uh, cl class equals to image tag wrapper and inside that uh, we're looking for EMG so just like how we uh, say inside the class we're looking for the P for paragraph uh, code or for this we're looking for the image code so this is exactly what we did div class equals to image tag wrapper and inside we're looking for inside that we're looking for the EMG now this would give us 
the whole code block the, the entirety of all this now we don't want all this we just want the uh, src attribute uh, which is the link to the picture and this is like the full size image which is which is what we want and to do that we basically uh, get the whole code uh, get the whole code block and then I mean we're talking about this get the whole code block and then type in link dot attribute src this would specify us the specific uh, element that we want from the code block and yeah that is basically it uh, this way you could get the URL for the uh, image of your uh, product from a lot of different websites which are similar and yeah thanks all for watching I'll see you guys again in the next video hope this video was helpful in understanding the soup a bit more and uh, if you're doing an Amazon web scraping then this was also helpful uh, hopefully yeah thanks all for watching I'll see you guys again in the next video and have a nice day